Now let us take up this interesting topic. Can we overload the main method in Java? I am asking you this question. We have a main method. Let me delete everything. delete everything okay the question we have now is can we overload a main method in Java what we have learned so far is we can overload a static method we have seen that with an example so obviously you can overload the main method so let me go and overload this what is overloading we just going to have a big static void and the main the method name everything will be the same but then the arguments will be different. Say if I say I take int k comma int b, I'm not taking an argument of strings here. I'm just taking two integers here. So now this static method is overloaded. And uh, what is the use of this? Actually, what happens is from within this method, you can call the static method say how will you call this say this is demo class that is the class name dot main so i can pass to comma three so now i'm invoking this static method from within my main method and i can also have a sysout here say i print the addition of a plus b so that's how you can invoke this uh, overloaded method Let's go and check whether this one works. So the addition should be five. Yeah, absolutely fine. The next thing you can ask me, can we go and uh, pass some arguments to our main method in Eclipse? Say it's, it's taking an array of strings, right? And that is called args. Can I pass an array of strings and invoke this main method? Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. And I'll tell you how to do that. For that, what I'll do is I'll just get this uh, array of strings int i is equal to zero and print that array in my program i less than args dot len i plus plus. So this is nothing but what is args? It's nothing but an array of strings. I'm just running a loop to print the entire content in my array. So sys out and uh, we'll print uh, args of i. So printing everything that comes into this array, but how to pass data to this array, how to call main and pass data. For that, we have a process. We have to go to run, run configurations in Eclipse. And then we have to go to the arguments tab. Here we have to pass the array of strings, Satish, Ram, Tom. Three strings I'm giving. Now I'm clicking run. So this will actually pass that year and this loop will print that Satish, Ram and Tom to the user. You see the array of strings getting printed. And what is this five? This five is because of this call to this static method and we are printing A plus B. You can very well ask me, can I go and directly invoke uh, this from Eclipse? No, the Java virtual machine will be searching for a method with this signature so that it can pass only an array of strings and uh, work. And you can invoke this overloaded method only by a strategy like this. So that's how we overload a static method in Java. So when you overload a static method, even main is a static, we can very well overload that. I hope